Hi everyone, it's Karen here from Dark Moon Emporium and today I've been working with text using Extra Creative Space version 2. So let's have a look at what you can do with text in your Xtool Creative Space project. If you can hear noises off, that is because I have an electrician working uh, today. <laughs> so there are occasional bangings and occasional sounds of drillings, and uh, I do apologise. I just hope that they won't be too disruptive. I'm working on my F1 canvas today, uh, just because that was what popped up when I opened Extra Creative Space this morning. So let's select the, the, the text tool and let's drop it down somewhere, anywhere on my canvas. Around about there will do. I can always move it later. So the default that pops up when you, uh, when you select the text tool is uh, the word hello in the Typeface Lato or Lato, uh, regular, 72 point, and score. Uh, so the chances are that you're going to want something different than those uh, those options when you are adding text into your your text box. So first of all, let's change the let's change the actual text. What I'm actually saying, and I'm going to change that to let me see what shall we say hi there i'm going to have a little exclamation mark on the end okay so i'm going to move that to be more centered on my screen so okay i've changed the words but i still I feel that there's more work to do with this so let's have a look at the actual typeface first uh, if I click on my drop down I get the options of the X tool selected typefaces so these are typefaces that come with Xtool creative space and um, everyone who has Xtool creative space should have access to these typefaces these fonts underneath where it says system typefaces these are all the typefaces that I have uh, that I have installed on my computer. There are rather a lot of them because I just can't resist a good font. So sue me. <laughs> uh, so I can change that. Um, I can change uh, the uh, the style of the font based on what uh, what's installed again on my computer, what uh, what options the typeface came with. I can change the font size from here. So let's make it 36 point. Um, and I can also do that just by grabbing the handles. Now, if I want to distort the font, if I want it to be, let's say, uh, tall and thin, I can unlock the aspect ratio and now I can stretch it in that direction. I can stretch it in that direction. Something else I can do to distort the shape. Over here I have my little curve tool and if I click on that I can bend my text. I can go upwards and downwards. Uh, if I look round about here, um, you can see that my alignment is set to uh, middle aligned. Uh, let's click in here and let me put that on to, to two lines. And as you can see, I am center aligned, but I can align the text to the left. I can align it to the right. Let's center align it again. So at the moment, with my text spaced out the way it is, that's a little bit, there's a little bit too much space between the lines for me. So I'm going to come over here to my leading 
and I'm going to set a value of uh, minus one and enter and as you can see it brings my uh, it brings my text closer together if I go minus two that's getting near to what I want minus let's go minus 2.5 and I'm feeling that's kind of, that's, uh, that is about right. Um, if I don't like the, the spacing between the letters, I can change that as well. I can do that in using my, uh, using my spacing box over here. And let's bring them together uh, by 0 0.5. Let's see what that does. And that spaces them apart I can bring them closer together by adding a negative number and that squashes them that squashes them up a bit so what else can we do well let me change the typeface to a script font uh, that's dancing script and it comes in regular medium and bold We'll go, should we go with medium? Let's go with medium, make it a little bit bigger. Uh, if uh, I zoom in a little bit, okay, you can see that the individual letters are overlapped. And if I send that through as a cut file, uh, the laser will cut all of these little bits out and uh, my letters will look strange and they will all fall out and that's not what I want. So what I can do is with my text selected I can come down here to this bottom right hand corner and hit weld. Watch what happens when I do that. And now all of these letters that were overlapping are now one, uh, one piece. So now that's an object and I can treat it as any other object. So I can, uh, let's see what I can do. Let's, let's make, let's make it into a, a rubber stamp, shall we? So I've placed a rectangle around it. I'm going to put the rectangle on another, uh, a, another layer and I'm going to make it engrave. I'm going to send the rectangle to the back and I'm going to select everything and combine, subtract. Editing care and popping in here for a moment. Something that I wanted to do in this video and forgot to show you uh, was to show you this little tool down here, which is the corner radius. So if I click on that and I enter a number, let's say 5%, it rounds off the corners of my, uh, of my rectangle for me. I can make it bigger, I can go for a full 10%, or I can go for 3%, whatever I feel like. Um, I'm not doing it in the rest of the video because as I said, I forgot, but I just wanted to pop in here and show that to you. If I send that to the laser now, everything that is red will be engraved, everything that is white will be left alone. Uh, if I'm going to make a rubber stamp, I need to flip it, so I'm going to click on reflect, reflect horizontally, and if I send that to the laser now, that will cut me a nice rubber stamp. And that is where I'm going to end the video for today. Thank you very, very much for staying with me up to this point because I really do appreciate it. And uh, come back and join me again sometime. Next time, I'm going to be having a look at the application menu and uh, what I can do with that. So come back and see me for that. But for now, once again, thank you for joining me and I hope I'll see you again sometime soon. Bye-bye.